Hi there. So this tutorial is just a real quick thing for the inner bevel that I didn't think I could do in GIMP. Oh my god, the GIMP is now completely complete for me. <laughs> I figured it out. Um, so this is for people who have already seen the first tutorial on the bucket uh, fill coloring or painting with patterns. Blah, blah, blah. I'm very excited. Okay, take your wand and select your area and as before you pick your pattern and fill and there I've colored. Now, <laughs> I want you to go to select, invert, invert right now, right after you color that spot. Go to filters, go to decor, go to add bevel. I got it all the way up. I deselected the keep bump layer and the work on copy so that it stays right here instead of opening a whole bunch of images. And here we go. So cool. Okay, so control F will make it happen again. And I'm just going to do this a few times, but it it's, it's, it's an inner bevel. It might not work in one stroke like it does in Paint Shop Pro, but by golly, I can leave it like this so that it looks like it's inverted. Or I can keep going until it's poofed up and, and risen up. There it is. It's risen above. And the more I do that, the higher it will get and the lighter it will get. So here's our inner bevel, guys. And boy, I am really stoked over this. <laughs> I'm going to be busy coloring. Well, I hope this was helpful. <laughs>